Now let me explain you what is DynamoDB Streams. When I say DynamoDB Streams, it is equivalent to triggers in the MySQL and SQL or whatever database you are working on in terms of RDS, relational databases, we call it triggers. But in AWS DynamoDB, we call it streams. Streams means anything is happening in on your table, like in terms of creation of record, you are inserting a record, you are deleting a record, you are updating a record. So there will be a trigger associated with it. So on that trigger, what you want to do is, let's say in my scenario, I want to trigger a Lambda function. On basis of Amazon DynamoDB streams, I want to trigger my Lambda function so that I can do my business logics or business operations on that. So what I will be doing for that, first of all, creating a table. So same table I'm going to create customer one, customer ID and the default settings I'm, I'm going with customized settings, DynamoDB standard and this time I'm saying on demand. So on demand and create table. Refresh your table. This is customer table. Click on this customer. And once you go to customer, you need to click on export and streams. Once you click on export and streams, it will give you this option DynamoDB stream details. This is enabled as of now. So I'm saying let's keep it enabled. Here it is very, very important properties. What you want to store? Choose which version of the change items you would like to push to the DynamoDB stream. If you are saying key attributes only, only the key attribute of the changed item will go. But I am saying entire row should go. Entire row, both new and old. When I say both new and old, I am talking about new record and old record. New record means if you are inserting a record, that means new image will be created. If you are deleting a record, that means it is an old image, which you are, which record you are deleting it. In this similar way, we have the concept of magic tables. If you talk about RDS, if you talk about MS SQL, SQL, we have the concept of magic tables. So new images, insert, you are inserting new data, old images, whatever data you are deleting. And when I say new and old images, update I'm talking about. So update means in the case of update, what happens is new record will be inserted and the old one will be deleted. So for a moment, you just understand when I say new and old images, I'm talking about update and I will do a practical of it. Then you will understand better on it. Enable the streams. Once you enable the streams, you will see this window is enabled. Add trigger, right? So before adding a trigger, let me add a one Lambda function. In this Lambda function, let me create a Lambda function first. I will write a code to work with streams. Let's say I'm saying create a function, read trigger from trigger from DynamoDB. Let's say trigger from DynamoDB. You can keep any name. I'm saying Python 0 9 and create a function. Once your Lambda creation is done, I will be writing, I will be adding a permissions to read data from DynamoDB because by default, when you create a Lambda function, it only has a Lambda execution role permission. So what I will do in that case is click on configuration, go to permissions and open this role and add a permissions to read a data from DynamoDB. So for that, we have one policy permission available so that I will attach to this role. 
click on add permissions attach policies and i'm saying for a demo purpose i'm okay with adding dynamo db full access attach policies that's fine go back to your lambda function it is done now go back to your tables and say i want to create a trigger create on create trigger and lambda function which lambda function trigger from demo dynamo db look for this trigger from dynamo db click on it bad size that's okay just test with one as of now unable trigger click on create trigger done you have this trigger enabled now i'm going to write some code in my lambda function not going to write i'm just uh, take it from my snipped and explain you what i'm doing in that that code is go to snips and the same code you will be able to find on the github containings copy this entire code and go to your lambda function and paste it now i'll explain you what i'm doing in this first of all i'm doing an import json then we have event handler in the event handler i'm saying start a try block and inside the try block i'm saying get all the records right four records in event records if record event name is insert that means some insert is happened on that table else if record event name is modify that that means update happened if record is event name is equal to remove then delete item is performed and then return success now go to insert item first when item is being inserted go to insert item i'm just printing the statement inserting new item and this is very important record dynamo db new image you cannot change this values new image because with the new image only you will get new record out of this new customer i am reading a value of customer id and why i am giving this new customer customer id n n means it is a numeric in the case of string you will define s here in the lambda code and i'm just saying new record added new row added with customer id and printing the customer id value in the similar way we have update item example in it i am picking two of the records one is old image second is new image in the case of old image i am saying this is the old age because i am going to change the age in my example i will tell you how to do it old customer old age new customer new age and then i am checking if old age not equal to new age just print the values of it age changed old value is this and new value is this similar way we have delete item example i am just using old image and using that old image i am retrieving a customer id and then i am saying this row is removed with customer id is this deploy this function and test it go to your dynamo db and create a record create item customer id 1 name then age 30 create item 
similar way let me create one more record or item what happened let me refresh create item customer id2 string name ritesh number age 35 create item now i have two records right now go to number one record which is customer id is one and update it edit item and i'm changing age from 30 to 50 save the changes now go to your dynamo uh, go to your lambda function click on configuration or click on uh, monitor to see the logs and click on view logs in cloud watch or the other ways just go to cloud watch and look for logs on that particular lambda function go to cloud watch click on all matrix basically logs not all all matrix you need to click on log groups in log groups you will find a option like this one your lambda function name trigger from dynamo db this is the metric click on it once you click on it you are able to see inserting new item and this is n what we are doing wrong here n let me see that go to your code once again click on code insert is not printing the right value it is only printing n the record dynamo db new image new customer and customer id is fine right customer id this is fine customer id and what we are getting in it only n update is running fine updating existing item age changed old age was 30 and the new age is 50 but inserting is not working fine let me expand this window only n is printing let me check it print customer id we are keeping it at a number right okay this is string this is not the number actually I have kept it string that's the problem so you need to remove this line and replace with s customer id is your s which is string customer id is your s I think these are the both places right the rest of the things are fine insert modify this is fine i think customer id yeah now test it add a record create item customer id let's say 8 and string value name kirti and age 32 create item go back to your cloud watch logs uh, refresh let us see this one and uh, refresh now what happened click on this refresh yeah fourth is available click on it yeah this is fine new record provided with customer id 8 that was the problem actually i was checking customer id as a string but i was referring as a numeric that was the problem 
let me test it with the 8 to delete delete item delete go to same logs refresh if you are not able to see in the current log event you need to go back and refresh it might be new log groups is created no go to the same and refresh then this is a removing data and row remove with customer id 8 so that's how you can use dynamo db uh, streams for inserting for updation for deletion let's say you want to take certain actions on, on delete of one particular record you want to inform sales department or you want to inform to it de department to take certain actions on that or write an email to some department that this person has been removed or this record has been removed from there so and they will take certain actions on that like this you have tons of examples where you want to attach your lambda functions to dynamo db and when anything is updating in dynamo db table you will be informing your lambda function and that lambda function will have the code business logic code to share with whatever your requirement you have so that you can implement in the lambda function